This tutorial is about engraving with the universal routing tool URT in the relative mode. The URT can easily be converted from a router to an engraving tool. In relative mode, the height of the tool can be precisely adjusted by means of a micrometer screw. This creates an engraving with precise contours and a constant cutting depth. You will learn how to initialize the URT in the relative mode and finally get an example of engraving in the Zündcut Center. For initialization in the relative mode, select 11127 Relative Initialization in the Cutter menu. When the relative initialization function is started, the cutter will automatically switch from position mode to pressure mode. Set the contact pressure in the Zündcut Center. The wizard for initialization the universal routing tool in relative mode will start. Follow the instructions on the cutter menu. Raise the universal routing tool by approximately 30 mm and fix it. Unscrew the extractor. Guide the extractor onto the adapter from below. Now fix the adapter to the extractor. Use Next to confirm. The extractor is lowered until it touches the processing material and it is then raised into the park position. Place the initializing plate on the processing material directly under the extractor. Use Next to confirm. The extractor is lowered until it touches the initializing plate. Set the micrometer screw to zero. Lower the URT until the tip of the engraving bit touches the initializing plate. Lower the clamping plate until it touches the universal module. Also lower the micrometer screw holder so that the micrometer screw is fully inserted into the hole in the clamping plate. Secure the micrometer screw holder. Use OK to confirm. The URT is raised to the park position. The initialization process is completed. Use the micrometer screw to set the cutting depth. Fix the URT to the clamping plate. The cutter is ready and we are going to the Zünd Cut Center. The cut editor and the file with the example object is opened. The contour is visible, but we want to fill the contour for engraving. Select the object and with Tools and Hatch Fill, the Hatch Fill options open. Insert the bit diameter. The other options are ready, you can confirm with OK. A new processing step, Engrave Hatch, is created. This step contains the hatch fill pattern. The original object is moved to the non-step. You can delete the non-steps or make them invisible. In order to cut the file, send it to the cut center. Select File and Send.
In the cut center, choose the material, insert the thickness of the material and confirm with OK. Choose the cutting mode. Now double click on the machining step Engrave and select URT and the router. Select the relative Z mode and insert the pressure. The settings for copies, job processing and part position are done. The cutter is prepared, which means that we can start the job. You want to learn more? Go to www.youtube.com/sundtube.